It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in Houston, Texas. And we thought we would go ahead and put together a breakfast casserole that mm. we can have tomorrow morning and every day this week. We'll prep it, get it ready, and we'll have it on the table quick. You guys are going to love it. We took our original recipe that we've been making for years and we've changed it over to plant-based and it tastes just as wonderful. If not better. We've had it so yes, many times. It definitely. is so good. We're going to show you guys how to do this. Stay with us. All right, the first thing we have to do is brown up our impossible meat breakfast sausage. So I'm just gonna turn on the cooktop, let it light. I'm gonna put it on about medium, a little over medium, just to get it started, maybe a little bit more. Let it come up to temperature, then I'm just gonna cook it like I would a normal breakfast sausage out of a, a roll. And it really smells good already. Coming right out of the package, it smells good. So we're gonna let this brown up for a few minutes. Okay, we're back. The sausage is coming up to temperature. We're just gonna start breaking it up, letting it brown for us really well. You can see it looks like just a regular breakfast sausage. Impossible Meat is one of the best brands out there for plant-based meats. If you guys are wanting to know, you're curious about experimenting with these, there's Beyond Meat, there's a couple of other brands. But if you can get your hands on Impossible Meat, that is the way to go. It is the best product currently on the market right now. We're gonna scoop brown this up and we'll be right back with you guys. All right, our next step is to go in with our O'Brien hash browns. I usually use, I, this is a 20 ounce package. I usually use O'Brien, uh, what are they called? Potatoes. Uh, They're basically breakfast potatoes, chopped up. So this is our package of uh, O'Brien potatoes. They are frozen, so I'm gonna let them start to thaw out. I'll take care of them here and we'll be back with you guys in just a few minutes once they get going. All right, you can see these are starting to cook nicely. I got them all nice and broken up from that uh, frozen state. I'm just gonna start turning them over, letting them start getting a little color. And for those of you who know me, these are seasoned. Pepper. But I'm just gonna go in with a little beautiful black pepper just to give them a little extra flavor. I need to pepper you with questions right now. You do. What we need to do is grind some more pepper soon. We're almost out. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and let these cook up for a little while. If you guys aren't familiar with O'Brien potatoes, all they are are potatoes that are frozen and they have bell pepper, usually a green bell pepper, and onion in them. And they are so flavorful. They're really good. So you might want to give these a try. You can also cook them on a Sunday morning on their own if you want to have them with a, just a breakfast. So we're going to finish getting these browned up and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back just taking a look at these. It looks like they're cooked just perfectly to me. I'm going to break them up just a little bit before I take them out of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the pan off for now, or the stove off for now. Just break these up a little bit, then we're gonna take them out and set them aside. And we'll start to assemble our casserole. All right, looks pretty good. Grab my other little thing here. I'm just gonna carefully take them out and put them into this glass bowl, just like we did the Impossible breakfast sausage earlier. Our next step is to add three cups of plant-based milk. We're just using Calafia Farms. I'm not sure if that's how you say that, don't ding me. This is just an unsalted almond milk. So we're gonna go right in with that. We measured out three cups. I said unsalted, I meant unsweetened milk. Don't know if it has salt in it or not. I'm just gonna go right in with that. If you don't have one of these yet, I've got a link in below. This is wonderful. It is four cups and it is so great. We're gonna go in with 12 tablespoons of just egg, egg replacer, okay? One egg is four tablespoons. So I've got 12 in here because I need three eggs for the equivalent of three eggs for this recipe. So I've just got them in this bowl. Looks kind of like an egg that you've scrambled up. I go in with all of that. We've used this product for years. It's a great product. If you haven't tried it, you should. Makes great scrambled eggs. You can cook with it, all kinds of things. We're gonna go in with one cup of Bisquick. And if you guys did not know it, Bisquick is plant-based. It does not have anything in it that is not plant-based. Check your other brands, store brands we, we have looked at, do have trace, uh, miner trace amounts of milk, trace amounts of egg. Bisquick is the only one that we have found that does not have any trace amounts of that. It is purely plant-based. So we're just gonna go into this with here, with, in here with this, put the whole thing in. Oh, missed a little bit there. 
Now I'm just going to take my whisk and I'm going to whisk this thoroughly to get it fully combined. Lumps, I'm just going to set this aside, then I'm going to grab my pan and we're going to put it all together. The next step is we're going to go into our casserole dish here. I need to turn around really quick. <laughs> I needed to grab my pan, or I actually have an olive oil spray here. Just going to spray the pan lightly, make sure it doesn't stick. Just going to go in next with the fully cooked Impossible Meat Breakfast Sausage. It smells so good, you guys. Mm -hmm. I wish you could smell it. It just smells, the whole kitchen smells great. I'm going to just even that out a little bit in there. Just make sure we get a little bit in every bite. We're going to go in with those cooked O'Brien potatoes that we cooked earlier. They're nice and cool now. We waited about, what, about 15 or 20 minutes? Let about everything 20, cool 25, down? 20, 25, yeah. 20, 25, yeah, just to make don't sure. Don't want it hot because you no. don't want to cook and make it egg, uh, don't want to cook the eggs. Yeah. All right, we're going to just go ahead and smooth those around a little bit, get a little, again, a little bit in every bite. Next, I'm going to add all but about a half a cup of this. This is Daya Cheddar. This is Daya Daya. I'm not sure how you say it. Don't beat me up. I'll have a link in the description below, though. This is one of our favorite cheeses. Violife is actually my favorite, but I was out of it today. So I'm just going to go in with just about all of this, except save some for the top. And it tastes, it's a really good tasting cheese substitute, plant-based cheese. We've been using it for years, and they, it said on the top today when I opened it, it said new and improved, and they keep making improvements to this stuff, so it, it just gets better and better as they continue to develop their processes, I guess. All right, I'm going to put that aside and clean off my hands on just a little bit. I'm going to remix this just a little, bring this back up here. My hands are dirty. Mix this just a little bit more, and then I'm going to go in and pour it all over the top here carefully. I want to make sure I get it evenly distributed as well as possible. Just go all, you want to get it all incorporated. You don't want to drop it. it is, <laughs> my hands are a little bit slippery right now. I'm just trying to get it all into all those places and pour it all in. There we go. And I'm going to take my little whisk here, move it back over here and just kind of pat it down just to make sure everything is coated, everything is covered. Everything is well incorporated. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover this with foil and we're going to put it into the refrigerator. Optimally for about six to eight hours. You can do it up to 24 hours. I would not go over 24 hours on this in the refrigerator. You want to make sure you get it out and cook it off before that time. So what we're going to do, we're going to cover this with foil. We're going to put it in the fridge. We're going to leave it for about six to eight hours and we'll be back and we're going to cook it for you guys. I just took this out of the refrigerator. It's been in there for about six hours. You can go up to eight hours, up to 24 hours, but you don't want to go for 24 hours. You want to make sure and cook this at the 20, at or before the 24 hour mark period, okay? I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 375 degrees. I'm going to use convection bake today. And while that's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of my cheese on there. I told you guys earlier I was going to save some just for the top. So I'm going to go in with this all over the top. It's the last of this cheese. Just saved a little bit of brown on the top, real nice. Again, if you can find Violife, I highly recommend it, but this is not a bad substitute. Now I was going to tell you guys, you have to cook this for about an hour. I, the person that first shared the recipe with me, she said, Oh, cook it about 30, 35 minutes and it'll be done. Absolutely not. It was not done. I had to cook it for another, I don't know, up to, I think I cooked it at that point because I think I cooked it right about for an hour, 60 minutes or so. But um, yeah, we're gonna go in for about an hour with it and see how it looks. But right now let's let the oven preheat. We'll be right back and we'll get this in the oven. Okay, we think this is ready. We're gonna go take a look at it now. Put my little handy dandy gloves on. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. All right, this has been cooking for about, I would say, what, Michael, about probably an hour and 10 minutes we went. This yes, time. yes. Sometimes you have to go longer. Um, 
but this is about an hour and 10 minutes and now we need to let it sit for about 10 minutes let it cool off a little bit and then we will cut into it and we are going to have some breakfast mm. sadie sadie are you having your breakfast too oh good girl she's a good sadie girl what you got there for breakfast oh you got your homemade dog food that you love we have this beautiful breakfast casserole out of the oh, oven. It is Take a look, look at, that. at that. Look how beautiful mm. that is. Oh, so good. It is gorgeous. And it is time. It is Sunday morning and I am starving. Are you ready? I've been more than ready. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I'm gonna and jump waiting in. and waiting. I'm gonna jump in front of you here. Goodness. Try this out. Tell us a little bit about what this is while I'm trying this. So impossible meat, all that stuff. Yes, yeah, so we have impossible meat, just egg. Cheese. It's mm. not cheese, but it's mm. wonderful diet cheese. Mm -hmm. What do you? What do you? You just oh. taste it. What is it? It's got that beautiful crunch on top. Mm. It's just soft in the middle. That Impossible uh, sausage is just the yes. flavor. That cheese is spot on. Mm. The just egg. I mean, if you didn't know it was an egg, you wouldn't know. Mm -mm. Salty. And we bought this a little bit spicy Impossible mm -hmm. sausage, so it it's got great. We like it spicy, so it's got a little bit of a kick, mm. but it's got a crunch, and that's it's soft and pillowy on the inside. Oh, the just... cheese is nice and crunchy, basically. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, it's wonderful! Mm. And we made the whole tray. You can cut it up in pieces, cellophane, mm -hmm. put it in the freezer, and then when we're ready for it, it's just fine. I'll race you to breakfast in the morning. <laughs> I know this will not be frozen. No, this we're time. not freezing. This is going to be fresh. So mm. we're so glad you guys were with us today. We hope you will mm -hmm. try this. This is just incredible. So good for you. You know, when we make this, when do we make this? Every year. Christmas time. Chris, this is our Christmas morning breakfast. We Every make it the Christmas day before morning. on Christmas Eve. Yep, we make it the day before. And then we actually uh, just put it in when we're ready yep. and everything's good. It's so good. So we hope you guys will try this. If you do, drop a comment down below. Let us know mm -hmm. what you think. And if you have an idea to improve this, like I, I think I've put in the comments down below, you could add like green onions to this. Yes. You could add regular onions. Tomatoes. You could put tomatoes in this. Mushrooms. You could put mushrooms in this. Yeah. Any vegetable Anything. that you like. Zucchini. You could mm -hmm. shave zucchini in this. If you're feeding this to kids, you could amp wow. up. Totally amp up the nutrition it's on this. It's so good. The flavor is amazing. It really is. And you cannot tell. Just egg tastes exactly like egg. You would not know that we made this it's back made from in the day. Chickpeas, yes. We made this back in the day, and there is absolutely no difference mm -hmm. whatsoever. But mm. we hope you guys will try it. And like I said, drop us a comment, let you know, let us yes. know what you think. And thanks for hanging out with us this morning. It has been wonderful. It is a beautiful mm -hmm. Sunday morning here in Houston, and we are going to go devour this breakfast. And don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to subscribe to Living the Alleyway. And if you like this today, give it a big thumbs up. Mm -hmm. and, and what about that bell thing? Ding! Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know every time we come out with a new video. Again, Hope you've enjoyed this and can't wait to see all the comments of when you make it yourself. Absolutely. Thanks for hanging out with us. Be safe. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.